Hello everybody and welcome to World of Warcraft Classic. Robert Rambles here and thanks so much for joining me today. This is a very exciting episode. This is going to be part one of a new playthrough of World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, we have an ongoing playthrough on a Night Elf Warrior where we're at level 40, but this is going to be a new playthrough. Uh, I've been really keen to play a mage and to see a different experience since we've kind of hit that slow point on the warrior where a lot more grinding is involved for me that isn't really fun to watch at all. So I hope you guys are up for something new, and for those of you who are joining us for the first time, welcome. As you can see, we're going to be playing as an undead mage, or a forsaken as they are called. And so a lot of us are familiar with the basic lore, but for those who aren't, I am going to go ahead and read the descriptions for the character choices that we are making today. And so we're going to be part of the Horde faction. Four races comprise the Horde, the Brutal Orcs, the Shadowy Undead, the Spiritual Tauren, and the Quick-Witted Trolls, beset by enemies on all sides. These outcasts have forged a union they hope will ensure their mutual survival. Undead Free of the Lich King's grasp, the Forsaken seek to overthrow his rule. Led by the Banshee Sylvanus Windrunner, they hunger for vengeance against the Scourge. Humans, too, have become the enemy, relentless in their drive to purge all undead from the land. The Forsaken care little even for their allies. To them, the Horde is merely a tool that may further their dark schemes. Uh, we can become immune to fear, sleep, and charm. We can consume corpses to regain health, which is disgusting but useful. We'll get underwater breathing, which for anybody who has seen me play underwater parts of the game, I don't like them. So underwater breathing is going to be great. That's going to stop those silly deaths of mine from literally suffocating to death and drowning. It's drowning. Uh, resistance shadow magic, perfect. And we are going to be a mage. Magi are wizards of immense knowledge and skill. Their obvious physical frailty is deceptive, for they can call upon the cosmic energies of the Twisting Nether. Rarely do magi engage in melee combat. Instead, they prefer to attack from a distance, hurling powerful bolts of frost and flame at their unsuspecting enemies. And so that's what we're going with. Horde, undead, mage. Uh, let's go ahead and wake from our death and see what Azeroth has to offer us this time around, shall we? Bound to the iron will of the tyrant Lich King, the vast undead armies of the Scourge seek to eradicate all life on Azeroth. Led by the Banshee Sylvanus Windrunner, a group of renegades broke away from the Scourge and freed themselves of the Lich King's domination. Known by some as the Forsaken, this group fights a constant battle, not only to retain its freedom from the Scourge, but also to slaughter those who would hunt them as monsters. With Sylvanus as their Banshee Queen, the Forsaken have built a dark stronghold beneath the ruins of Lordaeron's former capital city. This hidden undercity forms a sprawling labyrinth that stretches beneath the haunted woods of the Tirisfal Glades. Though the very land is cursed, the zealous humans of the Scarlet Crusade still cling to their scattered holdings, obsessed with eradicating the undead and retaking their homeland. Convinced that the primitive races of the Horde can help them achieve victory over their enemies, the Forsaken have entered an alliance of convenience. Harboring no true loyalty for their new allies, they will go to any lengths to ensure their dark plans come to fruition. As one of the Forsaken, you must massacre any who pose a threat to the new order. Human, undead, or otherwise. Alright, so let's see what we've got as a mage starting out at level 1. A couple of things, I'm going to make some... Uh... UI settings. Let's unlock this. Let's shrink that down. Move it out of the way. And we do need to make a few interface options. Let's turn on auto loot is always a good idea. Action bars. I want to show the top row here. Um, that's good. Names. Um, yep, that looks fine. All right. That should be okay for the time being. Let me check my keybinds because I know they don't carry over. And we'll just do... Oh, you know what? It looks like they did. Perfect. Alright, it looks like we're ready to go. So we have auto attack. We don't need that. We have fireball. 
hurls a fiery ball that causes 14 to 22 fire damage and an additional 2 fire damage over 4 seconds. So it's going to do the upfront damage and then it's going to do damage over time. That's perfect. And then we have frost armor. Increases armor by 30. If an enemy strikes the caster, they may have their movement slowed by 30% and the time between their attacks increased by 25% for 5 seconds. Only one type of armor spell can be active on the mage at any time. Last 30 minutes. We're going to cast that right now. And so if people do start hitting us in the face, which is the last thing that we want as a caster, we don't really want to be getting hit, we want to be attacking from a, a distance. If they do hit us, we're going to slow them down, and we're going to slow down their attacks. If they're attacking more slowly, they're going to deal less overall damage, we can get away from them, and we can keep casting things like Fireball. Hello. Uh, we'll take a look around here and see where we're at. And, you know, I feel like maybe it's a little... Bright for this area, but I know I know YouTube has a tendency to darken things. So maybe I just I'll tweak it down a little bit, and you guys let me know about the lighting if it's too dark, or too bright. And you, uh... hey, there's Undertaker of Mordo, and he wants to talk to us about our rude awakening. About time you woke up. We were ready to toss you into the fire with the others, but it looks like you made it. I am Mordo, the caretaker of the crypt. Of death knell and you are the lich king's slave no more speak with the shadow priest sarvis in the chapel at the base of the hill he will tell you more of what you must know okay so we have to find priest sarvis uh sounds easy enough we're just gonna head down the hill here i suppose uh we might want to find some enemies to practice our abilities on and get a feel for things so we have our frost armor rocking let's oh that's really fast actually that is a much faster cast time than I thought for some reason. Uh, I remember Fireball just being so much slower. Did we not turn on auto loot? We didn't. Okay, well, it's on now. It's possible I made changes, like I didn't apply any of them apparently because, you know, you gotta click apply, Robert. There we go, that's better. Let's move this up here while we're at it and let's, uh, let's head down the path here, but let's... Let's fight a couple of these dusk bats as we go. And another thing I'd like to do is to unlock our tar our frames and kind of move them down where I could see them a little bit better without having to glance away from everything happening on the screen. So we're going to put those guys right down there. That's perfect. And that's not original vanilla functionality. So in original vanilla, you couldn't do stuff like this. But the great thing is that for Classic, they left in a lot of the quality of life stuff with the UI, so... I really appreciate it. You know, obviously it's not vanilla, but... Um, you know... It's quality of life. Nobody wants to look up at the top left corner to see their health and mana. A couple of things we have to remember to do early on is literally we have to loot everything. So kill everything in our way, loot everything that we can. Getting some coin and some silver early is going to be pretty instrumental to making sure we can learn all of our spells and abilities. Alright, here's the Shadow Priest. Uh, he looks like he's probably seen better days. Hello. No other race on Azeroth has suffered as much as our people mage. To laugh in the face of death has become second nature for all of us. Another of the walking dead, hmm? Must have been quite a shock, waking up in the crypt with only the cold and Mordo to greet you. I see the confusion on your face. Let me try to explain our situation to you. We have been freed from the control of the Lich King by our new leader, Lady Sylvanas. The Dark Lady guides us in our war against the hated scourge and the holdouts of humanity who dog our every step. We Forsaken are at war with the Lich King's army of Scourge. Necromantically raised armies of the undead, foul beasts of the north, and tormented specters. The northern part of the village has become overrun with the mindless ones, and they must be destroyed. Destroy them, show them no mercy, our former brothers and sisters as they might be. The fallen are nothing but the Lich King's slaves. Alright, Shadow Priest Sarvis wants us to kill eight mindless zombies and eight wretched zombies. And we'll get some we'll get some cloth gloves, or we can take the cloak. We're we're probably gonna take the gloves, you know, for our claws, which will surely still protrude from them. Let's Beware accept the that quest. 
And is our trainer in here somewhere? Yeah, so when we... I am forsaken. Oh, look at this. Okay, so we, we could get arcane intellect right now, but we don't have the, the coin for it. Increases our intellect by two. And when we increase our intellect, that's going to increase how much uh, mana we have. So we do want to stack intellect. Dark lady for sure. Let's take a look at the map here. And just, we came from back here. We're going to keep running down the road here. We're looking for mindless ones. Let's go into our quest log, actually. We'll track this. Eight and eight. Let's get going. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a bag to drop early on. That's what I would really like to see. On the warrior, we didn't get a bag for a long time. I eventually had to buy bags. Which is uh, expensive. Oh, we could take these guys out before they even get close. And we're not even operating at max range. Look how far away we can be. We could be all the way back here. And we could still hit this guy off in the distance with fireball. That's insane. Like, I feel bad for... Oh, look, we're out of mana, though. Let's whack him with our staff. You know, sometimes you need a good staff whacking. Just saying. And we need both types here, so let's just basically fireball everything in sight. And then we could take a few whacks with our staff. Uh, and we do have skill that we need to pay attention to. So if we don't skill this up, we'll get to a point where we'll rely on this damage for like a last-ditch save of our life. And we won't be able to hit... So it's kind of worth it early on to take some swings. We really want a wand, I think. We really want a wand, but... We'll see how easy that is to come by. For now, we have a staff. Yeah, we can actually just equip a wand in our range. It's not that it takes up our, our main hand, but... A wand would let us hit from a range when our mana is low. And so we're going to be on the lookout for that, I think. Well, that's level two. That's good. See our stats go up a little bit. They do to start us with some water that we could use to restore our mana, but we will eventually be able to make our own water and our own food. So that's kind of one of the amazing things about playing a mage is that we don't have to spend money on food and water, and we can't ever run out in the middle of... Ooh, he resisted two of those. Look at this guy go. Uh, we can't ever run out of water and food, basically. Which, if you're out in the field for a long time, and you're trying to do a bunch of quests, or, or grind a bunch of mobs, then uh, you can run out of food and have to go back. And we won't have that problem on the mage. Not a problem at all. As far as professions... Well, I've had a couple different thoughts. One thought is that I just want to go with gathering professions, like skinning and herbalism while leveling, so that we can just sell all that stuff and make a lot of gold. Uh, I am kind of determined to, for the first time in my life, figure out how to make gold in World of Warcraft. <laughs> I've never been good at making gold in the game. Um, and so I'm kind of like, I'm determined to figure this out. So I think I am going to try to go just skinning and herbalism so that any beast that we kill, we can just skin them. We can sell that, you know, the low level stuff, we'll probably just vendor it. And then as we get to the high level stuff, we may be able to sell that on the auction house uh, to other players for considerably more amounts of gold. But it's going to be important, and that's why bag space is going to be such an issue. So early on, we may have to just invest uh, our initial our initial money in some bags, like, immediately, if we're going to be doing two gathering professions just to level, it's going to be crucial. And then we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to save most of our cloth, and when we get to, you know, a much later level and we've got the gold that we need, probably at, at, at 60, maybe earlier, we, we'll go tailoring, and we'll have saved all of our cloth in the bank, and we'll just pull out all of our cloth, we'll, I'll, I won't record it probably, but I'll level up tailoring, and then that, that way we'll get to make the higher level tailoring stuff that will actually be able to help us. Uh, but while we're leveling, especially till we get our mount, I'm going to go herbalism and skinning. Okay, guys? It's possible that mining would be more productive, but keep in mind I don't plan to have a lot of time just to run around and grind. So it's going to be a whatever we can grab on the way kind of thing. And I think... With herbs and skinning, like, you get a lot of that just kind of running on your way through quests, whereas with 
mining, you kind of have to go along mountainsides and stuff and be very selective about where you look. Uh, and that takes like specified time and that time isn't really uh, time that we always have. So we'll see how this goes and I think it's, it's definitely going to get us some money early on. Uh, what do we need? We need mindless, just the mindless ones. These guys are not aggressive so we can just run out here and pull what we need. It's a waste of mana. Right now our mana regenerates really fast, but it's not always going to be that way. Uh, we've gone a little bit too far afield. Let's, let's bring it back in. Over here I see one. Oops. Okay, that's that. Let's run back and let's turn this in. It's a good thing these guys are not aggressive, but it would be interesting if they were, because then you'd have to basically fight all of them, like, both ways. Or you could pull them all to the guards, I guess, and let the guards take care of them. They're level 55 guards. They could probably handle it. But we have another quest available. Let's turn this one in first. I am forsaken. It is unfortunate that the Scourge cannot be brought into the fold. Their large numbers could be useful in the battles ahead. But they will not join us, so we have no choice but to destroy them. Ah, uh, that's... I agree with that. Let's take the gloves. Ooh, he has two quests for us. The Glyphic Scroll. Ah, while you were off dealing with the Mindless Scourge, the scroll arrived for you. I would think it's some matter of importance, as it seems it bears the seal of the mage trainer, Isabella. Okay, awkward, she's right here. I would take some time to read it before heading out again. We can do that, definitely. Again, she's literally right next to us, but it's fine. What is it? Rattling the rattle cages. You've shown your potential to the Forsaken under normal circumstances, Rome. Now, let's see you under pressure. The Rattlecade skeletons are more mindless minions of the Lich King, and a tougher foe than the zombies you have faced thus far. Again, thin their numbers and prove yourself to the Forsaken. Do not tarry. When you are done, speak to me again. Kill 12 Rattlecade skeletons and then return to Shadow Priest's service. Okay, and we get some boots for that. I'm sure our feet are, are bare. Let's, yeah, we're not, we're not wearing shoes. Oh no, we are. We're wearing apprentice boots. It just doesn't cover our toenails that are in need of trimming. Okay, let's take a look in our inventory here. We have a letter. Or it had said it had said we had a letter. But oh here it is. Glyphic scroll. The corruption and evil that rumor says travels with the arcane is nothing compared to the pain we've already felt. We are no longer victims. We are the ones who control our fate. Sylvanas has paved the way for us. She has proven that our will is our own that we are no longer thralls to that bastard Arthas. Seek me out in the church. I shall instruct you further, if that is your desire. Isabella, mage trainer. Uh, again, right here. What Let's just talk to her. I knew you would come to me, not because you do not have the will to follow your own path, but because we are kindred spirits. We both have felt pain. We have both suffered. And now we want the power to take back what we know is ours. This land, our lives our destinies. But there is much for you to learn still. You must return to me often if you are to become powerful enough to destroy those who would oppose us. The rules of magic still apply to you. You will still find corruption follows you like hungry wolves in the night. You will find its caress is not unlike an addiction, an old lover still wanting to be by your side. But these things can be staved off. These things will only control you if you allow them to. Go now. Return to me when you've grown more powerful. Beware. Very interesting. I didn't really know that about mages in WoW, that, that they're kind of like focal points for corruption to come into our world. 
Hmm. Oh, look, we, we can afford... We have more than 10 copper. We can afford arcane intellect, and that's going to boost our intellect, uh, which is going to be great. So let's let's learn that, and let's go ahead and open our spell book. We'll put it up here with our other buff. And we'll try to keep, we'll keep these going at all times uh, until we get different armors that we want to use. But Arcane Intellect is going to be something that we will have up all the time. We can cast it on groupmates and other Arcane friendly players. Require. And let's see here, Novice Elrith wants us to do something. The Damned. My duties include tending to our wounded warriors, tailoring armor and cloths, and assisting Shadow Priest Sarvis with whatever else he may need. From the look of it, you'll be enlisted in his service also, hunting the mindless ones, if I know his mind. Well, if you'd like to stay in one piece, and I've no doubt you do, perhaps I can help. I'm running out of paws and wings, and if you bring me some, I'll find armor for you. You'll find a good number of wolves and bats to the south. Novice Elrith requires six scavenger paws and six dust bat wings, and we can get some bracers out of that. Bye. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and track these so we can, oh well, you know, it's only two. But we have a few different objectives here. Scavenger paws, dust wing, dust bat wings, and rattle cage skeletons slain. So we need some items. We need to rack up some skeletons to make life here in, in Death Nell safer. Which is a, a noble goal, I think, at this point, seeing as how we are among them. We're faring a little bit better than some of our compatriots. You know, we I mean, we do have some bones showing, but that's just how life is. Uh, let's see here. So the rattle cages were a little farther out, and that's where we're also going to find the bats and the skeletons. Or at the bats and the wolves, rather. Let's fight some of these guys right here. These guys are level 2. They're a little tougher. Let's just kind of see like how fast we can go through them at this level. We should be able to burn these guys down pretty quickly. And our mana should regen sufficiently. We can we can get buy some more water, but you know. Well that was from our level, so when thank you, level up, for restoring our mana. Uh, let's keep going. We do need to vendor pretty soon, and I should have done that when we were back in town. We need to find someone we can sell all of our all of our junk to. Should probably check some of that junk to see if maybe we need to equip any of it. Like we can just throw this cloak on because it's it's a gray item, but it's just extra armor, so it opens up a spot in our bags. Oh, we're in combat, so let's just go ahead and wait on that. Uh, now we're out of mana, but it's okay. It regens pretty quickly. Oh, when they resist, it's not okay. Resisting it could be bad for us. Let's. Let's hope he doesn't do that too many more times. This could be a long fight if we... There we go. One more of those and then... We'll let our mana regen. Eat it. Okay, uh, what else? The gloves. Okay, that's good. We'll sell everything next time we're back in town. All right, let's swing out here a little bit and we'll start getting into some of these wolves and bats. For some reason I felt like I remembered these things were aggressive in, in vanilla. But they're definitely still not aggressive. Oh, see, and we're going to need we're going to need bag slots for these items. We'll see what the drop rate is like. It'll probably be pretty kind to us here at level 3. That was a nice crit. Yeah, unfortunately we're gonna... We're gonna need more water. Possibly before we can make our own. Getting a wand that couldn't happen fast enough. We need to be using our full range. 
At least, if nothing else, it gives us time to, like, regen some mana. And the fireball does put a, a, a damage over time on them, so... Damn, that would probably sell for a little bit, too. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See, this is where we regret. This is where we think, like, maybe we just want to run back, kill some stuff on the way, and vendor. That might be a good idea. I was going to say, is the tree going to be line of sight? We could turn on uh, the V-bars. We could keep them off. You guys let me know what's preferable. We can keep them off. We could turn names off. We can keep them on. I'm okay with it either way. Yeah, see, now we're, like, getting into stuff like this is probably an upgrade for it. Yeah. That's, like, technically an upgrade. So, um, let's see. Goodbye, Ruin Pelt. Hello, Frayed Robe. We're just going to equip that. Uh, we look we look better than ever. Better than we ever have, I think. It's very autumn-esque. Seasonally appropriate. Alright, we're running back in here to sell all of our junk, but we'll fight everything on the way. Oh, resisted. Turn the combat log on for a bit. We're not going to find anybody out here, I don't think, besides enemies. I'm going to have to go all the way back in, which is fine. don't really see any skeletons here. Let's just go sell all of our stuff real fast. It's, it's worth it to run back. It's time-consuming, but if you want to make gold early on, I didn't. I wasn't as good about it as I should have been in, in our warrior playthrough, and I'm paying for it at level 40, so... Trying to take some lessons. Okay, good thing it's not letting us just willy-nilly vendor quest items at this point. Don't vendor quest items. Just sell everything else. And let's keep Farewell. going. They've moved into all the houses. I think eventually we're going to have a quest to get these crates, I bet. I think I remember that. Hello there. There we go. I like how into it she gets. Like, you know, we have a lot of rage. We clearly have a lot of rage about being uh, raised as a Forsaken and having to exist in this world, but, you know, maybe having a chance to redeem ourselves will be fueled by that rage. We shall see. Eventually we're going to get uh, Frostbolt, and then that'll slow them down as they head towards us, and we'll eventually have a wand, and that will allow us to finish off most enemies before they even come close to touching us, so... We're going to have a lot of fun toys to play with as a mage. That's that's really going to help us incapacitate, slow down, immobilize enemies. 
and keep the range that we need to do maximum damage and I think coming from the warrior playthrough and like compared to that it's going to be very different and that's going to make it very exciting and basically I'm just super happy to be here Oh, we curbed that one. And remember, every time they hit us when we're casting in their face like that, when they hit us, it's going to knock back our cast time. So, let's see. Oh, he, it's going so fast that they're not even able to hit us right now. But eventually, we really won't want them... Really won't want the enemies in our face like that. But for now, it's okay. It's, you know, it's still real early. Look at how long it already takes to regen all of our mana. One more paw, so this might be our last wolf we need. We need two Rattlecage Skeletons and one more Bat. And we've strayed, we've strayed pretty far. We probably didn't need to come this far, but it's okay. We'll run right back. Grab a couple skeletons on the way, then we'll be able to turn all of these in at the same time. Which is exciting. Perfect. Alright, and we're almost level 4 already, so we'll definitely get that level by turning these in. Where's our rattle cages? We need we need two more of you guys. Let's grab this one. And there's the one up here that we've killed a few times. Very conveniently located. Make sure we loot. All right, let's see what is next here. I am finished with you. You have shown yourself to be worthy of the freedom that you have been given. Many will stand against you for what you have become, but know that no matter what they may try to do against us, we are free and will not be shackled again. Take these and be on your way. You have much to accomplish, mage. All right, we'll take the boots. Leveled, excellent, level four. He's got nothing else for us. He's done with us. He told us that. Thank you. This armor should help you out. Hopefully, it should do you more good than the last one to wear it. Well, that's a little disturbing, but... It's cloth, so hopefully it's been thoroughly washed. Ah, she has another quest for us. Marla's Last Wish. My friend Marla Flips lived with her husband Samuel before the plague. But when the plague came, Samuel succumbed and joined the Scourge's ranks. Marla was spared and on death, only to die at the hands of her now mindless husband. So strong was her love, however, that her last dying wish was to be buried with her beloved Samuel. Samuel Phipps roams at a ruined camp along the road northeast of Deathknell. Defeat him and grant Marla's wish. Bury him at her grave in the first row of our graveyard. That's rough, but yeah, I mean, we can do that. That's what we have to deal with right now. All right, so... That's all we've got. Can we track that? We can. Is it a ruined camp along the road to the northeast? Oh, look. So northeast. We're going that way anyway, probably. What does Death Guard Sultane have for us? Scavenging Death Knell. You there. 
If you're looking for something to make yourself useful, then listen up. We need fresh out of the ground recruits to head into Death Vale and search for any sort of useful equipment. Most likely, they'll be in sacks or boxes. We expect more recruits to be rising soon, and unless we want them to stumble about naked, we had better get to scavenging. We'll, well, get to work, you miserable bag of bones. I'm not going to reward those without some hustle. Search Death Nell and the vicinity for six pieces of scavenged goods and return them to Death Guard Sultain. Uh, we'll probably take the waste from this, and we've seen those boxes, and they, I think they're just inside the buildings. Uh, but we need to do a couple of things. We need to vendor. We need to get all the quests, so we do need to look around. Uh, we have another one here from Executor. Executor? Or Executor? You, you decide. He looks like an Executor to me. What but he could be an Executor. Nightweb's Hollow. One of our greatest struggles is obtaining the natural resources we need to survive. Gold was scarce even when the height of the Alliance's power. There is a gold mine to the northwest that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold from the mine, but we can't very well get in while the spiders are crawling around in there. I've not, mu I've not much manpower to commit to the task, so we'll just have to do it little by little. Get up there and see what you can do for us. Executor Aaron wants you to kill 10 young nightweb spiders and 8 nightweb spiders. So young ones and normal ones, and we will get a cloth chest that would probably just look wonderful on us. We've been we've been looking for a sleeveless cloth vest to wear, so, you know, our wish has been answered. Um, let's vendor anything we have that we're not going to equip. Let's equip the boots. We'll sell those. Let's equip these bracers. Um, what do we got on? We have two armor. We can do better than that. It's not much, but it's armor, so, and it, you know, it's worth it. Watch your back. Alright, so we have a few things going on now. We know we need scavenge goods, and we know where to find those. We know that uh, Marla's Last Witch is going to be down the road to the northeast, so probably just following the road we will find... Samuel Phipps and then Nightweb Hollow is to the northwest so we can kind of I mean that's probably the hollow right there the cave right to the northwest is probably where we need to go for spiders let's start around here and let's get the crates that we need first it's great that these guys are non-aggressive like I could probably spend some time fighting some of them anyway because they're going to be worth experience I was sure there'd be some crates in here Oh, here's some. Yeah, so they're all going to look like this. And we've seen a few, and we need six. So with these low-level guys, I bet we could take them out in like one or two fireballs. Yeah, we might as well take out a few guys as we go, just for like, kill experience, you know? Early on, it's, it's worth it just to fight whatever's kind of around. Unless you're just like, strapped for time. And you want to get quests done, but... And we won't do like a ton of unnecessary fighting, you know, in episodes, even if I grind outside of that. Uh, but we'll, we'll do some. We'll, we'll do what makes sense. It's just so easy to take these guys out, and if you're at full mana, why not spend some of that mana? Especially if they're in your way anyway. Even though they're not going to attack you. It just makes sense to take them out sometimes. And we get things like water. We've been getting a lot of spring water, so that's actually pretty awesome, because it means we don't have to spend any money buying any. Ooh, I see some more boxes hiding back over there. Very clever. Let's check inside the barn. I would hide supplies in here, and they have done so. Alright, one more. 
And I wonder if we just run right back and turn this one in and see if it chains into anything that leads us further out before we head further out. That could be a smart idea, so maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's run back. Hey, look, it's right here. Let's just turn it in in case he sends us out somewhere further near where we're already heading. It just makes sense to do that. Let's get a good look at this guy and his axe. Speak quickly. Have you managed to scavenge up some useful items for us? There is no shame in reusing that which has been tossed aside. No one is going to give us any handouts. We forsaken will fend for ourselves. Great work. I knew you weren't useless. Here, have one of these better items I found. Oh, have one of these better items. I found out of the lots that have been collected so far. That's weirded so strangely. Here, have one of the better items. I found out of the lots that have been collected so far. I'm going to let it go. It's okay. We know what he's trying to con convey. I mean, look at his face. He he's probably having some trouble, you know, pronouncing anyway. Like we are. Let's take the flax belt. And let's actually equip stuff as we get it here. Because look at that. We have no belt. All right. He has nothing else for us, unfortunately. So we can just head out. Mm, do we want to go to the spiders first? I think spiders might be closer. Yeah, let's go check out this cave on the map over here. And see if maybe there are spiders. Let's see how much experience we get for these guys. It's probably not very much. Eh, hardly anything. Not the level 1 guys. We're level 4 by now. Um, as soon as we can, we do need to find a skinning trainer and an herbalist. Ooh, here's some young nightweb spiders. Level 3. Which leads me to think maybe the bigger ones are going to be level 4 and possibly back inside the cave. Sticky ichor, that's disgusting. I don't know why you'd want that in your bag, but in it goes. We probably should have trained. I bet we have more abilities we could learn. I'm tempted. We can keep casting Fireball. It's been pretty damn effective. But I bet um, I bet we can get Frost Bolts. And maybe even Fire Blast at this point. But we're already here. But there's all, we gotta do a lot of killing of spiders. <laughs> um, 18 total, so... I don't know how many Fire Bolts that is. 18 times 3. I can't do that math, but maybe you guys can. It's a lot of fireballs. I'll tell you that. Oh, some of them are level 2. See how much he burns. Uh, not very much. And not for very long. I bet we'll get talents eventually that can improve the burn damage. As far as specs, I haven't thought about spec at all. Um... I guess I'll do kind of what I did with the warrior when I started the warriors. I just kind of picked what made sense for how I was playing. And, you know, later on I might try different builds and... Well, I know I'll later on I'll try different builds. And so when I do that I'll, I'll take some input from you guys. But originally I think I'm just going to like read the talents and just pick what makes sense based on how we're playing and based on what's been kicking our asses or what's been easy, you know. Try to just play it like an actual RPG and not something I could just go on the internet and find all the right answers. That being said, if I, when we do get to that point, if you guys have input, input's always welcome. I just don't like using resources like Wowhead unless I absolutely have to for something. And they would, it takes me a long time to be stuck on something before I'll resort, so. Uh, let's see, these guys are a little tougher. Which is regretful. Still got our armor up. But these are going to be some slow fights unless we keep our mana up. We've got two refreshing spring waters. Uh, how far that's going to get us, I'm not sure. We'll have to grab some water next time we're back in town. And we'll probably edit some of this out because, you know, how many spiders do you really want to watch me kill? No, I don't need the answer to that. If you hate spiders as much as I do, it might be an endless amount. Alright, well, we can go deeper and take care of the tougher ones first. Might be a 
better idea. And then we'll probably have to fight our way out a little bit and kill a few more, and then we'll go for the weaker ones. Once we're towards the end of our resources. We need to get some like passive regen between combat a little bit more. Now these guys are aggressive, so we do have to be careful about respawns. Like them respawning behind us. Or possibly social aggro. Oh good, they didn't these two didn't come together. And we probably need to work on doing some more swinging with our with our staff because well, we're gonna be low on mana otherwise. Like if we do that, if we, if we if we throw down three and then we resort to some melee, then we can keep our mana going a little longer because after five seconds the regen is going to kick in of not casting. And so look, by the time we're done with combat, we can basically be back to full mana and ready for the next pull if we can not have line of sight being an issue. I almost want to check behind us now and make sure that there's nothing respawning behind us. I don't see anything. Two more. Not bad. Here's our last one, hopefully. And we're poisoned. Not, not too bad though. Alright, let's get on out of here, and we still need a few of the younger ones. Oh, look at that, we got a respawn. I knew it was going to happen. See, we could have not killed that one, we could have ran back here and fought this guy. That would be maximizing, but it's fine. We'll get some good experience for it. Keep our staff skill leveled up. I'm going to recast our Frost Armor and Intellect to get another 30 minutes going on that. I don't know what's up with that guy or where he's going at half health. Oh, he was chasing somebody. Well, good for him. Alright, I want to finish this one off and then I want to head back before we do anything else because I want to visit the mage trainer and see what other abilities we can get now that what we're level five four the, the dings for leveling are so subtle that I, I sometimes don't even notice that we've leveled mana low yep that is true Oh, look at that. Somebody cast uh, Power Word Fortitude. There must be a priest around. Undead priest. Trying his luck as well with the spiders. Let's eat and drink. We can eat and drink at the same time. Restoring our health and our mana. And then what? We need one more. Let's, let's get one more. And then I want to turn this in, so I think we can hearth back, can't we? We should be able to hearth back. We're not that far, but but still. Let's just do it. We might as well. It should just put us right back down to the tomb that we spawned in. We'll find out. Yes. Okay. That works. I'm okay with this. We're actually not that close. It's, it is. It is a little bit of a run. Probably it was like probably the same run. It's okay. At least we got to use our Hearthstone. Put that bad boy on cooldown. In 59 minutes, we can use it again. And maybe it'll be more useful at that time. All right. So let's do a couple things. Let's turn this in. 
What would you ask of death? Hmm, well, it's a start. It'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to get down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. You've done your duty well. I'm sure I can find something else for you to do. We're counting on it, buddy. What do you got? There's level five. The Scarlet Crusade. Awesome. You'll be happy to know we appear to be making progress in the mine. Thanks in no small part to your efforts. We can now turn our eyes to other concerns. My scouts have reported that a detachment of Scarlet Crusade is setting up a camp southeast of here. The Scarlet Crusade is a despicable organization that hunts us, and they will not rest until every undead, Lich King Scourge or no, is destroyed. We must strike first. Be careful, their unholy zeal makes them dangerous adversaries. Bring Executor Aaron 12 Scarlet Armbands from Scarlet Converts and Scarlet Initiates. And for that, we can get some, well, maybe a dagger of all these things and some water. Well, I don't know if that's really worth it for us, but we're doing it because we need experience. Let's also visit the mage trainer and see what other tricks we can learn from her. Conjure water, excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> and frostbolt we can't afford, but I think we're going to sell some stuff. Uh, but conjure water, that's huge. That's actually huge. And so we can make our own water, but only if we have inventory space. So let's just stop that right there and let's uh, go take care of that. I have exactly what you need. Uh, we might want to equip this and look awful. Yeah, that's like too much for me. I'll take the armor hit and actually like have a robe on. That's fine. We'll sell that. I'm just picky that way. Especially at low levels. We're at a very, very low level here, so it's m only a minor, only minorly impactful. Alright, we have the silver we need. Frost, no one. Let's grab Frostbolt. That's going to do some upfront damage, it's going it's to slow enemies down so we can keep them at range longer and, and wear them down. It might cost less mana as what well. Would you ask of death? Launches a bolt of frost at the enemy, causing 18 to 21 frost damage and slowing movement speed by 40% for 5 seconds. And it costs 25 mana. Yeah, Fireball costs 30 mana, does 16 to 25. This does a little bit less damage, but we're going to probably be relying a lot on it to keep enemies well, at range. So we're definitely going to open with it. So it'll be number one. And Fireball will be number two for now. And I guess we're going to go uh, find Samuel to the northeast. Samuel Phipps roams at a ruined camp along the road northeast of Deathmell. Okay, let's go. Oh, and yes, we can conjure water. And now we don't have to purchase water, we can just make it. So we won't have any big mana problems going forward. Let's just say that. It doesn't mean we're not going to run out of mana. We are probably going to run out of mana all the time. It just means that we're going to be able to get it back uh, pretty efficiently. And this will have different ranks. We'll have to train different ranks of Conjure Water. Alright, Samuel Phipps. Where are you? Over here, perhaps. I do see a camp in the distance. Let's see what's going on here. Um, Daniel Ulfman. I don't need... I don't need a Daniel Ulfman. Steven... So the, oh, here's Samuel. There are different named undead here. I wonder if we're going to have to take out these other guys at some point. I didn't switch over to, to Fireball, but you can see that he's significantly slowed. Um, and we could, if we got range on him, we could probably get him, but... I was too busy thinking about their names and why there are more guys with like specific names back here. So we have his corpse. Um, that's all we need to get right now. We'll probably be back for those other guys, I imagine. Maybe we're gonna have to bury all of them. Might get a little repetitive unless we do it like all in one shot next. But yeah, anyway, that's uh, let's let's see frostbolt again. So ideally, we would frostbolt, and then we switch to fireball. And then they don't even get to us. 
If we want to be mana efficient, we could probably just frost bolt them down. Very cool. Very cool. It costs less mana. Deals a little less damage. Makes it so that they're never even going to get close to us. So we're going to bury him in the graveyard up here, I guess. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I guess we go turn it in. I don't know why I expect like things to happen sometimes. Um, we're just burying a corpse. So, that's done. I haven't got all day. You have done a good deed today. Although our struggle against the Scourge continues, let us hope that Marla and Samuel will find peace together in their final resting place. Do not seek death. Ah, uh, fair enough. And now we only have left uh, to do the Scarlet Crusade for the armbands. Uh, I think, though, that maybe we'll take a little bit of a break here. And next time we will come back, we will do the Scarlet Crusade. And I think that's going to take us kind of a little further out of the Death Knell area. But we are level 5 now. I'm thinking that next we'll probably get a Flame Blast, uh, which will be an instant cast fire spell. Looking forward to that. And let me know what you guys think of the mage and the undead area. Really interested in your thoughts. As always, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate the support, guys. Take care and wish us luck.